Hi, my name is Derek, and thank you so much for watching my video on bee foraging. It has long been known that flowers are a plant's way of attracting pollinators. Manning, in 1956, suggests that the conspicuousness of the flower, as well as the color of the flower, play an impact in the bee's selection of which flowers to forage first. However, Without a good source of nectar, the bee will not return as often. This can be thought of as a controlling mechanism or approximate cause for the bee's foraging behavior. Waddington and Holden in 1979 suggest that the heterogeneity among bee foraging strategies suggests that this is a learned behavior early in development on one of the big first foraging trips a bee makes outside of the hive. This can be considered another possible proximate cause for the foraging behavior in bees. Experiments involving flower color and nectar amount done by Hill et al. in 1997 suggest that there is a genetic component to the bees foraging behavior and that evolution by natural selection has selected for the bees to consistently return to the same color of flower despite the amount of nectar available so long as there is some nectar available. This need to remember where the resources are might be considered an evolutionary ultimate cause for the foraging behavior in bees. Kieser et al. in 1996 showed that the flight distances of the bees are directly correlated to the amount of nectar received at the flower that the bee is foraging at. And the longest flights were between flowers of different colors with little nectar. And the shortest flights were between similar colored flowers that gave lots of nectar. This can be considered an adaptive function or an ultimate cause of the bees foraging behavior that we see today.